Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I certainly do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer comes from Belching Beaver Brewery. They're out in California, and I have done some of their beers. Uh, uh, Donovan and the guys out there at uh, Serval Liquors, CraftCity.com on the internet have sent me some of their beers before. This one comes by the way of Sterling. He sent me a couple of beers from out in his neck of the woods, and uh, I have done like I said uh, some of their beers before and they seem to uh, this is the Deftones Swerve City IPA so they got a thing with the uh, the group Deftones because uh, I've seen that name on two or three of the, their different beers that they do so uh, evidently they're in cahoots with them so anyway the only fuss that I'm going to say before we get started on this one is uh, unless this is a brewery only release uh, which I don't think it is I think they distributed their beers because I've got them from Donovan before and he owns a beer store is that they don't date their beers I mean if you're going to produce an IPA you, you better get a dating machine guys unless this stuff is just super fast flying off the shelves if it was available here and it didn't have a date on it I would leave it on the shelf that's the only fuss I've gotten and I looked at the bottle I don't see anything written on the bottle, but a lot of times it's hard to see if it's written in black ink and stuff uh, on the bottle. It has a ton of sediment in the bottom of the bottle. So, uh, you know, if you go to the craft beer store, you don't know how old the beer is without that date, guys. And this, for an IPA, it's got way too much junk in the bottom of the bottle. Uh, Sterling, uh, I know you got the precious thing you could get put your hands on but it doesn't mean it's a fresh beer if you bought it at a craft beer store uh, they might have told you well we just got it in well how long did it sit in the warehouse before it was shipped out that's the problem I have here that it comes and goes to the warehouse and sets in the warehouse a month or so before they even send it to the stores I know there's no reason for them to do that but some of them do I mean I get my uh, the bells too hard at out here that's Eight weeks, ten weeks old before it shows up in the grocery stores. So I mean, uh, it shouldn't take that long to go from the brewery uh, to the distribution center and then out to the to the stores. So, uh, but this has a bunch of stuff in the bottom of the bottle. So, uh, not a fan of that on this style of beer. Uh, it looks fairly clear, other than all the stuff that's in the bottom of the bottle. So. We'll see. I'm going to be as honest as I can with this. So Sterling, if it doesn't get the A grade, uh, it's not your fault. Uh, like I said, you probably picked up the freshest thing you can get your hands on from these guys. So, and I'm going to be honest with you. If it's an A, I'm going to tell you that. If it's not, I'm going to tell you that too. So, uh, this is a 7.2 percenter. It's not a huge beer. Uh, let's jump over to Untapped to see what they have. Uh, 7.2, 55 IBUs on it from them. And there's no commercial description uh, on their site. So, it is time. This is a 22 ounce bomber. So, uh, let's get it open and get it into the glass. A little hiss, a little bit of smoke. And let's go into the glass. I'm going to try not to disturb that too awful much because I'm not a fan of all that junk in the bottom of an IPA. This typically a filtered beer and here we go that's all I'm going to put in the glass uh, about three quarters of a finger head on that pour over to the light guys I see the light right through it it definitely looks like a filtered beer it's not cloudy might have a slight chill haze on it 
It's a nice light amber color. Nice uh, soapy white head on top of it. So let's get it to the nose and see what we got here. Uh, right off the bat, I'm getting huge grapefruit and pineapple notes. Nice and citrusy. Might be a hint of some tropical fruit in there. But the grapefruit and pineapple is standing out to me more than anything else. Grapefruit is number one. It almost smells like you put your nose down on a, a grapefruit that's been cut in half. That's what I'm getting right off the bat. Well, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Sterling. I do appreciate it, sir. Grapefruit, pineapple, mango, guava. Slight hint of some pine. The grapefruit is standing out big time, off the chain just about. The grapefruit is definitely prominent in this beer. This seems to be rather tasty and very pleasant. Uh, like I said, guys, when I come back, we'll look at the bottle a little closer, but I don't think there's going to be any kind of dating on it, which is a big no-no, in my opinion, for uh, for an IPA or a double IPA. If you're going to be in this business, uh, guys at the Belching Beaver, you better step up to the plate and get you a dating machine uh, so we know how old the beer is that we're buying. So, like I said, if it was available here and it didn't have a date on it, this guy would not buy it. So... Well, let's run out of the fridge. Uh, let's uh, sip on it and see what we end up with, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sipping on about 45 minutes or so. Uh, awesome lacing is left on the glass. This is a great example of a West Coast style IPA, guys. It's not a hazy beer. It's not a unfiltered beer, uh, but it is a very tasty beer. Uh, looked at the bottom I got back. There's absolutely no dating on it. So that's my biggest fuss about this style of beer. Uh, not having a date on them. Belching Beaver is big enough to do that and they choose not to, which is gives their beers longer shelf life. It doesn't have a date on it. It sits on the shelves and you don't know how old the beer is when you buy it. Uh, I don't think uh, that one had a lot of stuff in the bottom of the bottle, guys, and that's not what should be happening here, guys, for an unfiltered beer. Uh, other than that, it is a very tasty beer. If they would date their stuff and it was available here, I would buy it. That way I know how old the beer is. Uh, without that happening, you do not. I mean, this could be a fresh bottle and then it can be six, eight, 12 months old and you don't want the beer. Judging by the taste, this is not that old of a beer. I don't understand why they had that much junk in the bottom of the bottle for a fresh beer. It does have a nice hop aroma to it and a very nice grapefruit taste. The grapefruit taste is basically overpowering everything else, but there are some other notes in there, but the grapefruit is prominent is off the chain so uh it's very tasty it's a very pleasant beer so sterling once again my friend my brother i do appreciate you sending me a couple of beers from your neck of the woods i did enjoy this uh very tasty final chunk awesome lacing guys i mean very nice beer just wish they would date it. Uh, I'm going to quit harping on that subject because uh, these guys need to. They're big enough to and they choose not to. So uh, I do think it's an A beer and it would get a better grade. If it did have a date on it, then what I'm going to give it. A minus for me, 90 is where I'm going to put it. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.18, which is also in their A minus range. And final check in over at Untapped, they have it at 3.87, which is in their B plus range. I could just as easily have done that too. Uh, but with the taste that I'm getting and the hot presence still being as prominent in the aroma and in the taste, uh, I, I would guess that it's fairly fresh. I just don't understand why it's got that much sediment in the bottom bottle being a fresh beer. Unless it's some kind of unfiltered beer. And I, yeah, looking at the color and clarity of it, even on the back end pour, uh, I couldn't tell that. I just, um, they need to date your stuff. So, 
With that being said, guys, uh, A- minus for me and Bear Advocate and B- plus from Untapped. So if you've had this one from Belching Beaver, this is their Swerve City, Deftone Swerve City. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.